Hello, my friends. Look what I have for you today. I'm going to be doing a Peeps Skittles manicure. And I have all my supplies here that I need to get started. I've got my lint roller. I'm using plate Maniology M189. I have some tips. These are medium almonds that I've prepped with white base. I have eight polishes here. I have a couple of stampers, a dappen dish with acetone, a scraper, a little like cleaning pad for the scraper, uh, a detail brush or a fine dotting tool and another cotton swab for cleaning our plates. I am using Maniology Trickster, pumps, pencils down, and blue glue. I've also got Sinful Colors, uh, sorry, Limelight, Sally Hansen Main Squeeze from the Sour Patch Kids collection. This is a, a brand called Hard Candy, and I don't think it has a name. And I've also got Sally Hansen Think Big, which is from the Sesame Street collection. And the thing that these all have in common is that they are very textured. So I've got some fun bar glitters here. I need to mention that my little bird friend Sam is sitting on my shoulder here. So if you hear anything weird, then that would be him, hopefully. Uh, this is kind of like a jelly candy looking. Um, this also, I think this was like a smoothie. It's supposed to be like a smoothie texture. Uh, so I think these are really good, like peeps, candy colors and textures and then I also went and picked the stamping polishes in a similar color to each of these and then we'll be mixing them up and I'm cheating a little bit I think because I did a, a video previously on um, inverse reverse stamping and that's basically what I'm going to be doing today uh, but I thought it would be fun to show you kind of like a fun technique for this. And I'll tell you maybe a couple of reasons why you might do it this way instead of another way. So let me get started here. I'm going to be doing this outline pickup in black. Of course, you can choose whatever you like. Since this is sort of a spring candy theme, I think it's nice to stick to the pastels. But you can do whatever you like. So I'll get a nice pickup there. I'm gonna do it one more time. If you have more stampers, that's awesome. I um, usually only use one or two, and I don't know, it's just how I do it. No particular reason. Okay, the reason why I coated these with white is so that my colors here can pop a little more. And um, the best way to put glitters on is using a sponge. So we get maximum glitter. Although I think I might need to actually paint this one to give it a yellow. A little more yellow color. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to look cool because the glitter is going to be sandwiched. But, um, it's, well, it's going to be the sandwich. It'll be between that clear layer, so maybe we can get a little float kind of look going on. But it, that needs to dry, so I'm going to put that over, away for now. And I'm going to be matching the yellow with this green, I think. I'm going to go with that. This polish is pretty old and I got it at like a, like a CVS or something. <laughs> uh, it's seen better days. Uh, luckily I don't have to do an entire manicure with this because it wouldn't make it. And 
And yeah, again, I'm just gonna add some like, actual color. Oh, this looks really furry. This isn't from the Sesame Street collection, but it sure looks like it could be. And I'm gonna pair that with the pink. We'll let that dry for a minute. base color. I'm going to be pairing this with the yellow. Okay. And then pairing that with the blue. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I am going to start working on my reverse stamping. And the reason why I chose to use a stamping polish for this is because it's really opaque and none of the uh, glitter stuff is going to show through when I stamp this. If you do want to use a different color that's not a stamping polish, you can definitely do that but just go over the back with white again. Um, it's gonna be kind of tedious, but that's the only way you're gonna make it kind of pop. So all I'm doing is just going outside the lines. It is Saturday afternoon and it is beautiful outside, which is why I'm inside. <laughs> and it's been pretty chill. My husband's away doing some classes for his search and rescue or something. I don't want to talk too much of his business, but he's away just for the day. And I did have some goals yesterday for today. One of them was this. So, yay. And the others, I'm not so sure I'm going to get around to. <laughs> I did do a bunch of cleaning today. I said I was gonna clean up and I did, but it still looks messy. So I guess it still counts if I did it, but I didn't do everything. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I'm really hard on myself about like housework. Like sometimes at the end of the day, I'm like, Ugh, I'm so lazy. I'm such a bum. I don't do anything. Like, and then if I actually like think about it or write it down, I, end up, I actually do like quite a lot of chores during the day and can end up putting, you know, more than a mile in steps, just going around the house doing, doing laundry and, you know, whatnot. So. There's, the only days I do literally nothing, I think, are probably when I'm, like, really sick. But even then, like, I usually have to cook for myself or, you know, do stuff for myself. This is before I got married, I guess, but... I don't know, my husband's really helpful and he loves to be of service and especially to help me out. But I get so like, so like grumpy when I'm sick. Okay, let me see how this is going. Because I don't need to do the entire thing if I can help it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe one little spot down here. That ought to do it. I 
put that aside to dry. I'm going to make sure it's pretty dry. It's like a little blue fluff in here. I don't want it to be gone. my fuzzy fuzzies on here. Oh, that looks very, very fuzzy. Oh my, this one looks so weird. What's your feeling on bar glitter? Some people hate it. Some people like cannot stand it. It does look a little creepy in the blue for some reason. I like it, but yeah, it's very fuzzy. <laughs> Jelly beans or whatever. That's pretty good. Let me get some more. I'm going to kind of soak in there for a sec. It's pretty good. I just want this last little corner up top. Give that some love. I'll kind of try to even out the color a little. I think that looks pretty good. Kind of sneak peek it. It's not look good with the green though. And we still have the green smoothie. Ooh. Did I say the name of this one? It's Limelight. I don't know if I said that or not. Okay, these are pretty skittly for sure. I want to top coat them and smooth it out a little bit. And I also want to create that shadow, that stamping shadow. I could use any top coat for this. I'm just using smudge free. And now I will work on my pink. So it is like spring has sprung here. It happened literally overnight. It's so crazy. Like, you know, like a week or two ago, it was like, oh, this looks like some little buds are starting to show up. And then like go out the next day and bam, just trees are full of flowers and daffodils everywhere, crocus. What else we got? Grape hyacinth. Um, it's Borsythia. 
bridal veil, all the good stuff. It's all blooming. I'm freaking out. This is my favorite time of year. It's just like really exciting. Like I don't mind the winter so much, but it's just so like, like ugly, you know? Like, the trees just look kind of ugly and I mean, I don't know. There's nothing like really ugly about all the natural processes in nature, right? I don't know, that's subjective too, but you know what I mean. It doesn't spark joy for me. <laughs> and then I get really lazy about going outside and I don't want to do anything. I feel like you can't open the doors or anything. But it's spring. I will say, I do like having the, the fires in the fireplace during the winter. It's pretty nice. So I need to be more careful here. I'm kind of smudging the, the black outline on the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. But that's happening because I'm letting my brush drag along the black outline and then it's like the pink is sort of reactivating the black polish and then they're mixing together. So I can try to prevent that by instead of painting, which is what I think I was doing because I was just chit-chatting, it's better to, to kind of dab it because you don't really want to be making contact with the stamper with the brush. But since I pretty much only did that on the bottom, I'm just going to focus on coloring this top part and then um, maybe I can, I won't have to use that. But another thing about this kind of, this technique is that even if you do that, you can usually go back in and just paint on, on top. So this effect is also, uh, it looks better if you are a little detail oriented with it. Um, one thing that will ruin the effect is that if you have a lot of holes like peeking through, if you have some spots you missed with the polish. So I know some people use like light boxes from underneath and you could probably even use like an iPad with a piece of paper over it or something to create that. Um, but I usually just hold it up to the light, so. <laughs> Let me see, did I miss any here? Maybe a couple little tiny weeny spots, maybe. I especially like the pink over the yellow. This is pretty sticky. This is sticky, but it's also pretty wet. I feel like if I stamp down on this hard, it's gonna, my polish is gonna squish and come off the edges here. I think it's just too wet. So I'm not gonna even, I'm not gonna try to stamp right now. Let me try to pick it up with another stamper. Not the world's greatest pickup. That's okay. It's just this little part down there. Of course, then I touch it. Oh my goodness. All right, what color are we on here? Yellow.
I also like to have kind of a lot of polish on my brush when I do this, and that's how I look like I like I'm just constantly doing this and picking up a little dab and it might look excessive, but if the polish starts to dry, it's just gonna start lifting off what you've already got on the stamper and you're just gonna ruin it. So, well, I would ruin it, that's why I do it that way, but not everybody does it this way. And I think you should just do whatever works best. Like developing your own techniques is basically just like fitting the tools to your body better, right? Or like learning how to work together with the tools and we're all shaped a little bit different and have different mannerisms and different things, different variables. So it's not like a one size fits all when you're talking about anything with tools, really, I would think. So everyone's got a little technique, you know, for everything they do. I'm just rambling. Okay, maybe we can see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's gonna look cute with the yellow. I was kind of questioning it, but that looks good. And I think I need to color a little bit more on the outsides though. I think that's enough. How are we doing over here? It seems good actually. Um, but I'm still going to use my sticky base. Because after all this hard work, I don't want to mess it up. Try to do one more. It would be so cool if I could just, I never do this. I'm only doing it for you. I like when it takes a long time because I just sit up here and chill, you know. You know, I don't have like a ton of responsibilities in life at the moment. Cool, 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 cool. All right, M one eight nine. See you next year, maybe. <laughs> That's why we got blue is left. It, it takes about thirty seconds for this sticky base to do its thing. I don't want to wait too long, but it still seems a little wet. Okay, that seems ready. Oh my goodness, this is very thick. Okay. 
So wait, we're doing... Pink on blue. I like the pink on the yellow, but the blue on the green is not that great. Okay, I'm just gonna stick with my plan. Since I actually made one this time. <laughs> This is actually a recreation of a manicure I did a few years ago. So, um, that's not even true. <laughs> I did sort of plan it. Just way in advance. Without knowing it. Oh, that looks so cool already! Alright, let me add to this. Or the sticky base, I mean. Oh, wow, it's so textured. Oh my gosh. I think we got it. Seems good. Make sure I don't have any. I kind of want to move the images around a little bit so it doesn't look like exactly the same on each nail. That's a personal preference. Oh, and you got kind of messed up. It's true to life, you know? They always come in the package, like, all wonky looking. All right, I did miss, like, a tiny little teensy weensy little spot right here. I think that's it. How are we doing here? Okay, we're ready for stick base. All about the base. How's this going? Same thing. Oh, you're gonna really tell me to shut up? Okay. If you say so. Yeah. Okay. Give it a little time, and while I'm doing that, I will top coat. Actually, 
actually, I want to get all this stuff off the side. Because I don't want it to flip up back on the top of the design. I hate when that happens. But that's not going to happen. Oh, you guys. It looks so cool. Jeez, get all this stuff over there. There we go. Your guess is as good as mine. I need to do like another like regular top coat over that because that's such a chunky one, but it looks pretty good. Oh wow, I love that effect of the <laughs> the fuzzies. Like I knew what it was gonna look like, but I'm still just it's like magic. Just a little spot here. <laughs> oh my god. I know, I know. It's amazing. Okay, this looks like more like our traditional peeps. Yellow and yellow. So, I guess I thought it would be a little more green, but it's not that I don't like it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy with these. Set step up. He's in jail right now. He was out, he was up here before, but then um, he started getting into the kitchen and he flew down there and I could hear him standing on a plate or something. So yeah, he's in, he's in prison. The prisoner of Squawk Bar. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Okay, this looks super cool. Okay, let me show you on this. It's a little easier to see. Oops. Oops, doodles. Touched that one. Okay, look how cute. They look so real. <laughs> They kind of look delicious. Which one is your fave? I think, I think I gotta go with the yellows. I don't know. Like I really liked how the pink looked over the yellow. It would be cool to do that. Mm, I think this one came out the least successful, but I still kind of like it. I really like the bright colors of this. Like that blue is so perfect with that pink. It's like very, like has a lot of authority, you know, <laughs> and I like this one too. I just love the like blue flocking. I'm kind of not sure about this pink. Like maybe I would do a little bit lighter next time, but because I have these other like kind of loud colors, especially that blue, I think it's good to have like this loud pink and the loud yellow. It's just, it just was kind of like a bolder pastel. Is it pastel anymore? Maybe, I don't really think so. Is it? I don't know. 
I put a gel coat on top of these and you can see how nice and shiny and smooth they are. And that's really the biggest reason why I'm doing this in a reverse, reverse tamping method because I can't layer on this much glitter underneath without creating a big old blob if I even get to this point of glitter saturation. So that's why I do it like that with putting the glitter down first. And I think they all turned out really cool despite that I deviated from my color palette or my color order, I guess is a better way to say it. But I think it just proves that you can put these in any color combo, any kind of spring color combo, and they look pretty cute. So I'm curious to know which is your fave or if you like the Skittles look or if you prefer the look of this other manicure I did. So let me know. <laughs>